Next, I'm going to show you five different ways to code to a node that we've already created. So the first thing you have to do is have your document open in detail view. You see I've got the Rashad document open and it's highlighted over here in list view. So I'm next going to click on my, on my nodes because I want to be able to see which ones I've already created. And the easiest way to code, if you, are, if you know you've already got a node that's appropriate, is simply just to highlight and drag and drop. So I'm going to look at question number four. We're going to work with that. How does your family complete the family response journal? We sit down and talk about the book after we read it and talk about different pictures and events that was in the story. Okay, we sit down. I think the issue is, one thing I want to code is that they read the book together. And I know I've got a code that indicates that. Let's see if I can find it. Complete with family. I'm going to use that. So I've highlighted we sit down and talk about the book. I'm actually going to highlight all of that. Uh, but I want to note here that they're doing it together. So I'm going to just simply grab the part I've highlighted and drop it on to complete with family. Now there's another part of this, talk about the book after we read it, and I've got several different uh, nodes that have to do with that, so I'm going to highlight that portion and drag and drop it to talk about book. One thing you'll notice here is that the part I just coded is highlighted and that lets me know that I've already coded that. And the reason, the reason it's highlighted is in the View tab on the menu ribbon, I've got highlighting turned on, coding for all nodes. I can turn that off and it will simply disappear. The next thing I'm going to, the next um, way to code would be to control click. So talk about different pictures. I'm going to highlight that por portion. And if I right click or control click, Notice I've got code selection coming up in an action box, and I'm going to use add an existing node. The list of existing nodes will come up. I'm going to say talk about illustrations. I'm checking the box and I'm selecting it, and it's been coded to that no go coded to that node. Then it says talk about pictures and events in the story. So I want to get this events, talk about the content. Um, so I might have to make a new node for that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to code the selection at a new node. And I'm going to put uh, talk about talk about book content. Um, talk about story in my description box. Click done and it's been coded to a new node at the same time. Talk about book content. If we want to check to make sure that it went there, I can open up that node by double clicking and you see the reference that I just coded there. Um, the little blue link at the top will take me directly back to Rashad's interview. So we can always jump between a bit that's in that's been coded to a node and the full survey, which I'm going to do because I want to go back there. So we've coded several several things there. That's two ways. We've dragged and dropped. We've right clicked. Let's go to another survey. Okay. Uh, Jamila's family says we read the book and after we make com commentaries about what we read. So I'm going to uh, we read the book. I'm, I'm going to code again to together. So one way to do that again is to go to the menu ribbon to the analyze tab. This is a third way. I'm going to code to an existing node and I'm going to say talk about book content and I can also at the same time code to um, read book together if I can find that complete with family. So I can code to more than one node at once doing it this way, which is a good thing. I'm going to select. It'll be coded to both of those. And after we make commentaries about what we read, I can also go to the Mac menu ribbon to analyze and say code selection. And I'll do that at an existing node. And I'm going to say talk about book content for that portion. Select that. And then finally, there's one additional way I want to show you how to code. So let me go to a different survey. Tiffany. Okay. 
Uh, Tiffany has some information to code to, to the fourth research question. It says, how does your family complete the family response journal? The family says, seeing how my child enjoy what I read, and we draw together. So I'm going to just choose this draw together portion. I want to we draw together. And once I've highlighted, if you notice at the bar right above the detail view, there's a little code button, and it is now lighted up like a light bulb. Notice that if nothing is highlighted, it'll just be empty. So I have to have it highlighted. I can then click the quick code button and it'll list my existing nodes here for me to look at. I'm going to do uh, child draw right here. Child draws an existing node and it's coded. Five different ways to code. You can actually uncode in all of these same ways. So notice for we draw if I right click it there's an uncode selection and you can uncode at an existing node or some of them are listed there. Um, the same thing if it's highlighted in the Analyze tab, there's both coding and uncoding. The same in the menu ribbon here, we've got the opportunity to, um, to uncode files. So essentially, in the same way that you can code, you can also uncode. Now if you need to be able to tell which nodes it's coded to, sometimes that's a little tricky. If you'll highlight it, come highlight the, the part that you want to check to see where it's been coded to, come to the View tab in Coding Stripes, do uh, all nodes coded and we see that it's in child draws. Now if I decided I didn't want it in child draws I could actually click on the coding stripe, right clicked, right click and there's a place to uncode to that to that particular uh, node. 